Hello again. In this video, we will continue with Microsoft PowerPoint. I will use the same presentation I did in the uh, previous video in the part two. Uh, and today, I will cover the transitions, animations, and slideshow tab. I will go to the transition. The transition is the uh, effect. Uh, the transition is the effect how to go from slide to, uh, to the next slide. So it's the transition between slides. Animations uh, is applied to the object inside each slide. So transition is applied to how to go from slide to next slide. So from here, I can choose first step. I choose the transition to be applied to this style where I need to go to this slide. I can use, uh, for example, uh, the covers. I can use the cover uh, effect. So once I apply the cover effect, a display a preview will be applied. From here, I can choose if I need also a sound to be applied when I uh, added the transition, the duration of the uh, transition the federation of the transition. And if I need to apply the same to all slides, I can apply to all. So now here in the preview, you can see a star below the number one, number two, number three. So star means that a transition has been applied to the slide. To see the effect of the transitions, I can go to slideshow. I will go to from beginning. And you can see that uh, the effect has been applied. Uh, now, if I need to edit, uh, I can remove the sound. I don't need, we need sound between slides. I will keep the duration. I will make it 1.5. For example, I will apply a random bar the slides. And I will click apply to all to apply to all slides. So now, if I need go to again to slideshow from beginning, you can see now if I go from slide to each to next slide, the random bar has been applied. Uh, also, I can uh, customize the slides. So now if I go to transition, for example, uh, for slide number two, I will add a push slide with a duration of uh, two seconds. For slide number three, for example, I will add a split with a duration of three seconds. Now, if I go again to anime to slideshow from beginning, first one is random bar. For the second uh, is another effect. For the third is, is, uh, is a third effect. So I can choose the transition I need and apply it to all slides or to a, to a specific slide. From here, I can use if I need to go from slide to slide on mouse click or after a specific time. The, so if I choose here for after a specific time and choose, for example, after four seconds, so after four seconds will advance to another slide. So from transition, I can control the uh, transitions between to this slide. I can uh, add effect, uh, for example, for random bar, I can make the effect as vertical or horizontal. I can cho choose if I need a sound and the duration of the transition, I can apply it to a specific style or I can apply it to all slides. And from here, I can uh, choose if I need on mouse or after a click. Now for animation, animation is used for the objects inside the slide. So for here, I have a title and subtitle. I can add animation for a title. From here, I can add the animation. For example, if I need a, a appear a, a animation, also, I can uh, control uh, uh, the, the duration. For example, I need it uh, of uh, one second. Also, I will uh, here from here, I will apply another animation. Uh, I will add, for example, a float in animation. Also, I will from here, I click, uh, I need it uh, as a three seconds. Uh, now, if I open the animation pan, I can preview that I have now two animations. From here, I can, uh, to, to show it, I can, from here, uh, I can see my animations and how will be displayed. Uh, also, from here, I can right-click and uh, remove the animation. 
uh, you can notice that the now the animation are on click so I need to click on mouse to play the animation well, on the slideshow I can choose it for example I need the transition to start with after previous so after uh, the slide number one uh, finished so from here uh, I can click it uh, with the previous so from here uh, on click so on click on mouse will appear or I can appear it with the previous so it will be shown with the previous uh, animation or after previous so after the animation number one finished the animation number two will appear so let's just try it for example here in this slideshow I will add an animation for the title for example I will add uh, fly in uh, I will make the, the animation with uh, one second I will add uh, second I will make the picture appear with a for example a wheel uh, also with a duration of two seconds uh, now uh, here also two seconds here two seconds and now the text box also I will add a animation and for example also I will make it three seconds. Now, let's if I play all. So after the first slide will appear. Now the picture and finally the text box will appear. But if I go now to slideshow and from current slide, the transition appear. Now I need to click on. The mouse to first appear. Click again to make the picture appear, and I need to click again using the mouse to make the text box appear. If I not need to click the, on the mouse to make the picture and the text box appear, I can from here, from the animation pan, I go to the picture, I will make it with after previous. So once the title one, the slide animation one finished, Picture will appear, same uh, with the uh, an insert animation, I will make it after previous, so after the picture appear, the text box will appear directly without using the mouse to show it. I will go again to slideshow from current slide, so now only I need to click on uh, first time in the mouse to make the picture slide appear, and after that, all the picture and the text box will appear directly automatically without clicking the mouse. I can, for example, make the picture and the text box appear in the same time. So I will go to the text box and I will change the type from after previous with the previous. So now the picture and the text box will appear at the same time. Also, uh, at the same time, I will make uh, them with, uh, with same duration. Now, if I go to a slideshow from current slide I click to appear uh, to make the title appear now you can notice that the picture and the text box appear at the same time because I used with the previous not after previous this concerning the animation also you can notice that I can apply two, uh, two animations to the same uh, object for example if I need to for this word art I can add first time I can add entrance uh, appearance, for example, uh, I will make it uh, fly in. I will change the duration to two seconds. I can add a second animation. To add a second animation, I go to, I can't now choose directly from here from animations. I need to go to add animations. For example, I will uh, choose fly in. Now I will choose a fly out as exit ap uh, fly animation. I will change the uh, I will change the uh, duration and now if I go to slideshow and from current slide you can notice that I on first click fly in now second click, click fly out like this I can add two animations to my uh, presentation so uh, transition will be applied to the slides how to move from slide to slide. Animation is being applied to objects. For example, if I need, I can apply animation to this shape. Also for this smart art to add animation, I click on the smart art. From here, I choose the, the, the animation I need. I can, uh, for example, change the 
effect, effect option. So I can control the animation for each slide. For example, I can add the animation to this chart. You can notice that once I applied an animation, a preview will be displayed directly. Finally, for Microsoft uh, PowerPoint, in addition to transition and animation, I can control the slideshow. If I need to play the, my presentation, I can, for example, click on from beginning, so the presentation will appear from the beginning. So now I can use the mouse or the keyboard or uh, uh, to control the slideshow and go from slide to another slide. To exit the slideshow, I need to uh, click on escape button on the keyboard. Also, for example, if I need to preview, if I am in the slide number five and I need to start the presentation from uh, slide number five, I can choose directly from uh, to click uh, instead of from from beginning from current slide. And now the presentation will be start will start with the uh, slide number five. Uh, also, I I, I can set up my slideshow. The most important uh, set in set up slideshow is. When I reach now, before I set up, if I am in the slide number eight, and the final, which is the final slide, and I finish the slide, and click on next, it will give me end of slideshow. Click to exit. If I need after instead of click to exit to return to return to the first slide, I need to go to set up slideshow and choose here loop continuously until ask. I click on OK. Now, if I try it again from current slide, now if I click on Next, it will return to the slide number one. This is what we called Setup Slideshow. To do it, I will go to Setup Slideshow. Here, I check loop continuously until ask. Thank you.